Just a short introduction. Uh, Alzheimer, it's a type of dementia, and uh, we also we work in my project. We work with five people that had uh, Alzheimer or vascular dementia, and the dementia affects the mental cognitive abilities of people, as you might know. So people have a hard time sometimes to do simple tasks during the day, uh, and. Um, doesn't ha it's not like for now it doesn't have any cure and we don't know about that but it's a progressive disease so what we can do is like make the disease is have a slower progression so then if the person is taking the right medicine and is doing the right treatments then the, the disease can progress slowly within the time and one of the therapies that uh, is used is reminiscence therapy and reminiscence therapy it's been there for a long time uh, there is many papers that talk about it some of them are very optimistic about it uh, and uh, also this project can give an insight about how us to use this therapy and uh, what was the effect on it. And um, the main idea of the project was actually to compare the old ways of doing with the new way of doing with VR and see how that could work out because people with dementia, they have a uh, difficult to get a, like a, a higher focus and concentrated on things. So the hypothesis that maybe using VR, people can have an easier time to concentrate on tasks. And to measure that on this project, I have used an EEG. So it's an apparatus that measures brain waves. Normally, these apparatus they can be very complex uh, with 256 electrodes, but uh, this one has one electrode. But since we just want to measure the attention, and that's a very high difference between the brain waves, it's still possible to do it in a more affordable and uh, feasible way for this project. So uh, the idea of the project was to use reminiscence therapy with VR to improve uh, yeah, uh, cognitive abilities and also see how they respond in the short term with their mood. Uh, and the idea was to develop then an application with virtual reality uh, with old Danish movies. And uh, these movies were pro provided by Danish Film Institute, by Film Centralen, with the idea that people then would see uh, Denmark in the old times and then they could also have like the audio and hear and see it and then relate it with maybe some location or some events they have seen in the past to spark conversations about that as well. And then we use the EEG to measure the efficacy of the method. So I'm going to talk a little bit how that worked. Uh, so in my project uh, I had like five uh, people with dementia. Uh, this pro these experiments were done over three weeks. There was two sessions per week. And uh, the first uh, thing that would happen is that the, the person with dementia would get there and then the caretaker would go through a list of the old Danish movies and then they would choose uh, one movie to watch. So it seems like it was a preparing for the session but the session was there already happening because they would be talking and uh, socializing with each other. And then uh, the person would choose two videos. One would be seen in VR and another one would be seen in the iPad. Ideally, we would have like the same video seen on VR and iPad to make like a real comparison, but this project was also very important for them to have like a very good time and experience with it. So there was, they would choose one video to see on the VR and one video to see in the iPad. And then we would be looking at the brain waves with the apparatus and then also to their body language and how they would react to both uh, methods. And um, so they would watch one video with the VR and then the second one with the iPad. And after that, the car take would also apply a questionnaire asking about the experience, how they felt about it, uh, how they felt they concentrated with the VR, how they felt was the concentration with the iPad, and uh, if there was anything in the movie they were related to it, and uh, talk about the experience as general as well. Um, so here you can see there's one person with the VR glasses, and then the video here, and then the apparatus to measure the brain waves is this band that is over here, and then it also had a clip on, on, the, on the ear. So I brought in one of the results here to talk about it, because there were many, and we have like a short time. But uh, here uh, we have like this measuring of attention that is done by the apparatus. Is it a difference of two brain waves frequency that measure this? And you can tell the attention by watching the video on VR and watching on iPad. On this case and many of the cases, uh, we could see like uh, that on VR, the, the person had like a higher uh, frequency on one of the waves, that it shows that they had more attention to it. Uh, so it showed like a positive side of that. But in some other cases, we could also see that actually the iPad was higher. And when I was making my notes and noting that, I was like, I also noticing that 
when the iPad was there was also because it was something that was really of their interest in the in the movie. So it seemed like when there was some content that they found very interesting or something that they could really relate to, that would kind of uh, overpower the, the VR experience with it. Um, it would be nice to have like a longer period as well with more people when like testing with the same video to have like a very uh, specific result about that. But um, from the five people that were there, uh, most of them really enjoyed the experience. They were like really looking forward to do it again. And uh, you could really see that besides also the, the use of VR, what they were really excited about was to try something new, something different from their routine. And that was also giving them a very different mood. What the current takers were saying that they were very happy about it. And uh, they were also saying to us that uh, there was something very nice that they were trying. And um, we could see in a short term that their mood was much better. And then that we go again to the remittance therapy thing. But then we couldn't really see in a long term if that would improve their cognitive disabilities or any of that. But um, VR seems to be something that was very effective in terms of giving more focus and uh, annotation to the people that had participated in the, in the project. So yeah, that was about it.